Take 356. Action. Hi, Kai Henry. Can you answer me a few questions <laughs> about Kai. Web Converger? What mm. is Web Converger, first of all? Web Converger is an operating system which is it boots up and all it does is gives you a web browser. So mm -hmm. it's perfect for, for web applications, you know, like Hotmail, MySpace, Facebook, all the stuff you like there. Okay. So why do you consider it to be a superior system? Why do I think it's superior? Because since it, um, since the fact that people only need web uh, applications, only need a web browser, that's all it provides. So the mantra with web converger is less is more. Okay. So you need less of an operating system. So I give you less of an operating system, but you get more for it because it's it's faster, it's easier to see what's going on. You just got n no other, you know, you know, with Windows, you have the start bar, you have the viruses, you have the spyware. Okay. With this, you just have the web browser, just what you want. Oh, really? So it's it cuts out all of that. Yeah, it cuts out crap. all the crap, basically. Less is more. Okay, so it's going to cost me more. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not going <laughs> to cost me anymore. Yeah, basically, Web Converger is free of charge, so you can download it, uh, or I can give you the CD. Okay. And you can run it on your own machine. So how do you make money? Well, how do I make money? I hope to make money by servicing Web Converger in, in certain environments like, uh, s say a company has uh, 100 uh, computers and mm -hmm. they want me to get Web Converger running. Yeah. I would uh, assist them in that and I would support them in that because there are th there's sometimes some little issues that pop up but for the most part they won't. Okay. So I plan not to make so much money. Okay. In, the, in the near future with us. So I'm just want to get it out there. So, I might have answered it already, but why why have you designed the system? Well, since I only use web applications for my email and all that stuff, and, and since most people are, it's, this is the general trend, mm -hmm. but there's nothing out there to do it. So I thought, you know, scratch my itch, do it, because okay. no one else seems to, and it seemed like the right time. Uh, you know, I come back from traveling and had nothing else to do, so this, I started this project with the help of uh, Debian guys, Debian Live guys, and uh, so what? And my sister. <laughs> and my sister, who's filming this right now, inspired me to do this. <laughs> but can I can I show you how yes, how this yes. works? Uh, here I have the USB version, but we just tried earlier with the CD version. Okay. And also you can boot this thing with it through the network. So there's three versions right now for getting web converger on your on your system. Oh, it's gonna get it in there. So this is my computer, my lovely ThinkPad. And it just starts up like that. And there's some options where you can like set little things like set a home page. So the first thing it boots up is the home page. Okay. But let's just go with the defaults, they're good enough for most people, right? So press enter and it boots up. It takes roughly two minutes to boot up at the moment, but I want to make it a lot faster. So okay. hopefully it will just boot up in, in a few seconds in the future. And um, hopefully I'll have a different version whereby it installs on the hard drive. Mm -hmm. It's very small. It's only like 300 megabytes okay. maximum. And um, it just runs from the, from the hard drive and boots up in, in a minute. Or less, hopefully. Okay. So I'm web converger should so be fast. So that less fast. than Windows, for example. Uh, it'd be about the same. Okay. And to turn it off, it's definitely less than Windows. All you have to do is just power the thing off. You okay. just hold down really? the power button, and you don't have to save anything. It just really. Yeah, because if you think about it, it's just a web browser. Okay. All your data, yeah, yeah. like all your email, is on Hotmail, say. Okay. Or Gmail. Right. So. If if Gmail has your email, then you don't need you don't have actually any data, any of your user data on this disk. It's just web converger, mm -hmm. and it's 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 a better model, I think. Your I think your data is probably safer on Gmail than it is on your hard drive. So here it is, um, boots up. So will it have any effect on any of anything I've already got on my computer? No, it doesn't touch your hard drive. This is this live version doesn't uh, uh, touch your hard drive. In future, I'm going to have an option where you can install on your hard drive. But right now, the USB version, the CD drive version, they just and the, and the network version doesn't touch the hard drive. So it's very safe for you to try, of course. Okay. So.
flash is installed. You can watch, you can read uh, PDFs without any installing extra um, data. And you can hear the sound works. Everything works on the machine, basically. Okay. So you can put your hand on your heart and tell me there's no disadvantage to the system. Well, there is some, uh, some little issues. Okay. Like, for example, here I have the, this network cable inside my computer. Because the drivers for the wireless are uh, proprietary, they're, um, they're, they're not basically free. And, and Web Converge is basically a whole bunch of free software. Okay bar a couple of little things and um, so right now only sort of wired internet connections so computers basically with a, con a network connection they work okay. um, there, there might, there's other maybe little disadvantages in the sense that uh, well the, the big disadvantage is that you can't run anything except web applications right so people who want to use Photoshop, yeah. people who want to play it, play yeah. computer games. Well, Photoshop is actually a few good web applications to to, to do image manipulation. But if you want to play games like mm. World of Warcraft, you yeah, can't do you this. You don't play that, do you? Can't. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you go can't on. play that. In <laughs> so, but there's lots of games on the web you can play. So mm. I don't think it's such a big so deal. So it's just an alternative, really. Well, it's an alternative, but it's not just. I should say. But it, I think it's a lot better. And also, if you can see, it's it's simple. It's easy to train people. Mm. You don't have to show your parents how to drag windows or st or the start menu or anything like this. You, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to teach people this. Wow! And I can't wait to get me web converger. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, I I don't. I, I mean, do you think this will be useful for you? Yeah, I think so, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's just easy. It's, there's like no the viruses. There's yeah, just no that's crap. Yeah, right. I get really. My computer gets really bogged down. I well, like this, the idea this one will always be fast. I like the idea that sometimes you just want to go on the internet. Yeah. 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 And you could bring this. You could bring this yeah. perhaps to to an internet cafe, or hopefully the internet cafe already uses Web Converger. Mm -hmm. But you could just bring this to Web Converger, uh, Web Converger to an internet cafe and boot up, and you have a safe, you know, web browsing session. Mm -hmm. It's also a lot more secure. There's a lot more security here. You don't no no date no local data on here no viruses on here no it's very very secure compared to other alternative operating systems. That's good because personally I would I don't know how to put all the spyware and stuff on my computer. Well, this it's practically impossible to install any spyware. Okay, mm. so it's very safe. So I think we've run down. If you if you go to the home page of Web Converger, you can see um, you can see this about. free and open software, it, it needs less of a computer, you know, like if you want to get Microsoft Vista, you need like a big machine, but this one, uh, Web Converger will run on very low requirements, just like low old computers, you know, mm -hmm. better security, um, easy to deploy, it, it's got a better browser for standards and, you know, better, so the the web is going to work better here, it's, it's cheaper of course, I mean, it's Basically free of charger. Maybe I'll charge for it in the future, but really the something low. It, so I mean, I might charge for the CD, but I'm, I'm definitely not going to charge for, for downloads and things like this. Okay. And it's got the flash and the PDF. It's easy for people to learn. It's easy. I mean, it also updates itself. So you don't actually have to do anything. It just updates itself. You don't have to install anything. Okay. It keeps itself updated. And I'm here to give you support. Thank you very much for your time. I am converted. <laughs> okay, I hope the sound came out right there.